Jim, go stand over by the bike workstation. Wait, I don't get to work on cars? Cars are for seniors. You gotta walk before you can run, boyo. <laughs> well, you screwed up there, son. Try again. All right, you're getting somewhere now. Better try that again, son. Not too shabby, Hopkins. Maybe you're just not cut out for this. Start what part of shut up and work didn't you understand? I'm sorry, I'm sorry! You think I'm dumb? <laughs> Who's dumb now? I'm dumb, I'm dumb, real dumb. Hey, hey, kid, hey, kid, help me out, please! Easy, Russell. <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> good boy. Thank you, thank you. Jeez, that dumb kid's really strong. Dumb? Hey, be good. No. Be good. Not you, Einstein, not you. So, how did everything work out with those eggs? Not like I was hoping. Never trust a rich kid. Too bad, too bad. Was it that jerk, Tad? You know, his parents are at a party at my boss's house right now. If you wanted a revenge thing, now would be a good time. I guess I'll need some more eggs then. Ah, yes. You got it. Thanks. Come on, Russell. We've got a house call to make. Now you're going down.
Work, Jimmy. Father, I just, I'm gonna beat the poor out of I'm a fighting machine. I'm an excellent Get that boxer, you know. So you'll be checked out of here. I'm an excellent boxer, you know. Get away from me. Hang on. I'm an excellent boxer, you know. You won't escape me.
So how do I do it, Pete? Do what? Beat those rich kids into submission. Well, what have you tried so far? Random violence, widespread destruction, gratuitous sadism. No, no, that's not gonna work. They get all that kind of stuff at home. No, what you gotta do is you gotta beat one of them publicly. You gotta prove to them you're better than their best man. Why don't you box that dumb jerk Biff? Not bad, Pete. Not bad at all. All right. See you around. Wait, Jimmy, can I come too? You know what? Don't worry about it. You and me, Biff. You and me what? You and me, the noble art of boxing. May the best man win. And then you little trust fund fairies will know what life is all about. Anytime, Popper. Of course, the best man always wins. Me. Come on. Afterwards, you can clean my shoes. That poor right. kid just beat yeah. up Biff. He's our new it, champion. What? He is That's the right. new champion. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. Woo! You disgust me. <clears throat> it takes more than victory to become a champion. It takes breeding and nepotism and snobbery. You filthy Democrat. Gentlemen, are we going to let some gutter snipe come in and beat up our friend Biff? No! Then what are we going to do? Beat him back to the ghetto! Yeah! Yeah! yeah!
now! I can't hear you, rich kids! Who's the boss now, my waspy little friend? Answer the question! You are... Louder! You are... Uh... That's right! Me! Now you girls, learn to play nice, you understand? Now, Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. So, you must be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson. They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he can help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. Looking good today. Good day, everyone. I'm Mr. Matthews, your geography teacher. I know you're all enthusiastic and ready to learn. Otherwise, why would you be here? No, I'm sorry that it is incorrect. be taking notes and done
I'll show you. Live longer. I can't wait to graduate so I can do that all the time. I think my big mistake was graduating from teacher's college. Who's the lucky guy? Dr. Watt! The chemistry teacher? Uh-huh. I don't know what it is about that guy, but every time I get a look at his bald head and manic eyes, I go all gooey inside. OK, that's enough information. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Love is blind. I sure hope so. Hey, kid, I need you to do me a favor. <laughs> Dr. Watts doesn't actually realize that we're going on a date yet. <laughs> but we are. <laughs> and I need to get ready. So, can you get me Ms. Phillips' perfume from the staff room? You know where that is, right? Oh, and I almost forgot. Some candy and some sedatives. And for the sedatives, don't buy them. Just look for them in the trash. <laughs> yeah. OK, I can do that. Good. <sighs> Got you. That experiment attended. Oh well, Edic. Hey, what's new? You are ridiculous. They're out to get me. I'm sure I'm in all the signs.
Hey, Edna, I got your stuff. Hey, Edna, you old bat, I got your stuff. Ha! Oh, whoa. How do I look? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> if I was 50 years older, I'd date you myself. Ah, thanks, kid. <laughs> Where's the perfume? Right here. <clears throat> oh, thanks. I needed that. I get so nervous before a date. Yeah, well, good luck, Edna. Hey, kid, wait! I need you to do me a favor. Another one? Yeah. What's in it for me? Ha! I won't spit in your food. Will you spit in Mr. Hattricks if I say yes? <laughs> for you, kid, I'll do worse than spit. OK. <laughs> what do you want? I want to go on a nice date with Dr. Watt. So go then. Have fun. Yeah. Well, you know what you kids are like. You see a beautiful couple out on a date, and you're bound to do anything to ruin it. You got a point. So listen, I need you to watch out for me and keep those disgusting kids away. I'm good. That's all there is to it. Yes, yes. That's enough chatter, people. Eyes on the board. Pay attention! Say, I'm more than a little surprised. I rock! Another job well done. You a sissy? 